another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Today I want to talk about converting text objects in Adobe Illustrator to outlines. When we use the type tool in Illustrator and we come out here and we click and we type anything, this is considered a type object. And what I mean by that is it has a baseline. I can highlight the text and retype it. It actually is a specific typeface, a font. So if I chose Futura as my typeface, then I could choose the font. It could be light, or light oblique, or book, book oblique, any of these here. I can change its point size. I can come over here to the character panel and I can edit it as type. And that's great while we're editing our projects. Maybe I make a typo or a misspelling, I can come back and fix that. But at some point during the design process, this is going to be approved and signed off on, and you're going to need to send it off and get it printed, or maybe you need to share it with someone else. And anytime I share a file with someone else, if I send this Illustrator file to them and they try to open it, if they don't have this typeface installed in their computer, they're going to get a warning and it's going to say fonts are missing. And if that happens, they would have to contact you and you would have to send them that font. They'd have to install it on their computer for it to work. Well, that can be a problem sometimes. So let's look at this next artboard I have down here. Let's say that this is a business card I've designed. And if I hit Command Y or go to View outline mode, I can see that this is a type object, that this is a type object, but Pinecone Lodge has actually been converted to outlines. So if I would send this to someone else and they tried to open it, they would need to have the font Factoria Bold installed on their computer. But I don't want to cause them that problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my type object and I'm going to go to type create outline. And you notice that the keyboard shortcut is command shift O, create outlines. And what happens is it turns it into outlines. It's a shape now just like any other shape and I could edit it just like any other shape. If I look at it in preview mode, it looks exactly the same. If you have a document that has a lot of text objects in it, it's very easy to convert some of them but maybe miss some of them. I haven't converted this down here yet. So my advice is, I'm going to back up, I'm going to hit undo. This is a type object now and this is a type object. If I want to send this to someone else and make sure that I get all of my type objects converted, I would go to select all and then I would go to type create outlines. Now I do want to point out, when I did select all, it selected my type on my other artboard. It also selected these objects that are not type objects, and that's perfectly fine. So type, create outlines, and I'm going to hit command Y and check, and sure enough it converted everything to outlines. Now I can share this file with anyone. I don't need to send any type files along with it they can open it up and they will not get any font warnings. The one downfall of this is I cannot go back in and change the font. I can't go back in if I misspelled something and change the spelling of it. So I usually do this at the very end of my design process. Thanks for watching this Illustrator Quick Tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.